Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that all battles don't need to be fought. Now, this applies to every aspect of our reality, our life, our journey. It's a basic understanding that just because we come across those who may support or oppose us, it doesn't mean that we have to fall in line with their perspective. We can have times where people or groups don't uh, truly understand or even more often than not, they don't care about how one may see the world. That's fine. But in not choosing that battle, you choose to stay within your power and not force yourself to attempt to make them understand, to make them see your perspective. Choose your battles. Now, the outcome of that is not truthfully up to you. You can only control what you can control. So how you go about your life, your journey, or the reality that you created for yourself, that's all within your ability, within your grasp. But we don't get to choose how people accept that or don't accept that. So choose your battles wisely. You do not have to be light by everyone you don't have to be respected by everyone this is simply a part of the journey everyone experiences those feelings but one helpful aspect of the power that we have is choosing what we allow into our space choosing what to do with uh, slick comments or with uh people's misconceptions of who we are. See, what others think about you shows more about who they are than who you are. So attempting to correct their perspective as you see it, it doesn't do that much. It's simple. Because no matter how much energy you put into changing somebody else, it's not going to be enough. But no matter how much energy you put into self, you could see tremendous, tremendous growth, evolution, outcomes far beyond your imagination. So if you choose to do that for yourself, no matter what that looks like, imagine what the next person can do as well and wish that for them if you feel so inclined. And in doing so, not only do you reserve your power strictly for you, but you also grant them grace, ability, space to operate within their power. And the end result will show what they truly believe. See, many times if we sit back and pay attention, we will more often than not see people that believe in others or things outside of them more than they believe in themselves. And that's when we see the idea of monkey see, monkey do play itself out in real life. They will use art, which is the expression of someone else, to imitate life. They will copy the art that they see, the outward expressions, and build their life around it. When our true power is in the opposite, live your life in the way that you see fit. In the way that you live your life, the outward expression of that is the art that you put out into this world, this reality, this world of your making. It's not about what we're supposed to do. I say this a lot and I truly believe this. If we talk about what we're supposed to do, then we're not making the rules. We're falling in line with the rules. But it's about what we truly desire to express in our life. It's about maneuvering our life and our journey that way. And for some, that could be copying or imitating others' art until they find their own. We all do it in some shape, form, or fashion. Because there's nothing new under the sun, nothing old under the moon. So that's okay. I would like to encourage you, anyone that's listening, to step back, go within, Take your moments of silence 
and see what you want to play out or express in your world. Because the more you do that, the less time and attention you give to others. That could be physical time, mental time, it doesn't matter. But the more time you give to yourself, the more clarity you achieve in seeing your expression of self. The more clarity you see in uh, the reality that you surround yourself with. And sometimes you want to change that reality, so you change something within yourself. Instead of going into an environment and wanting to change everybody to be under the same perspective as you. But in this world that we're in, it's so easy to get caught up in the environment that we play to the level of the environment. But why do so? Part of that, I believe, is because we're trained to do that in the school system. We're trained to do that in our family culture. We're trained to do that in our neighborhoods. We're trained to fall in line. This is how we do. But at some point, you come of age. At some point, you realize that you have more decision-making power than you were previously told. And in doing so, you begin to see not only how much impact you can have, but you also see the impact that you have had. You step more into your power. Now, it is a lot easier to not step into that power. Because then you have a certain level of uh, plausible deniability. You have a certain lack of accountability. You have a lack of responsibility in the comparison to how you see your reality when you step fully into your power. Sometimes it's easier to dumb ourselves down to reduce our power in order to not be accountable for the change. Now, the change is all about what you choose it to be. There's no set parameters for what it has to look like, what it has to be. For some people, it's uh, being physically fit, live your life. For some, it's being intellectually fit, live your life. For some, it's simply being a nice person, a live your life. For some, it may be being mean, a rude person, live your life. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to remind I'm here to remind you that you have the power to do the things that your heart is really guiding you to do. It doesn't matter how minute or how major it is. Do it simply for the gratification of falling through with your choice. And through making that choice, it leads to another choice and another choice, the evolution of life. And sometimes you're going to change directions. Sometimes you're going to maneuver a different way. But through every choice, you gain a certain element of experience that continuously builds into the reality that you live. So make your peace with that. Because if you're not making those choices, if you're not maneuvering in the direction that you desire for yourself, somebody else is making them choices for you. And I don't know about you. But anytime I've maneuvered that way in my life, I was never fully satisfied with the outcome. It just didn't happen. Because I knew a part of me was not being fully expressed. So in certain situations, I went from being overly nice to just being mean. Being well, sometimes it wasn't even being mean, it was simply being blunt. But I realized that the game that I was playing, I was never designed to win. So I maneuvered in a manner that took me out of the game. I don't lose a game that I don't play. Keep it moving. This is the same with battles that we see in life. There's no point in going to dominate the world. There's no point. There's no point in wanting to dominate people or certain types of people. Because it's truthfully not the people that we're fighting. It's the energy behind the people. It's the spirit behind the people. So once we chose to not entertain a certain energy, 
not entertain certain traits that some people may display. You've won the battle before it started. So there's no need to engage. This is stepping in your power. There's an old saying, uh, don't wrestle with pigs. Because both of you get dirty and only one of you like it. When we make the choice to not engage in certain battles, we're not wrestling with the pigs. When we make a choice to maneuver in a way that gives us not only confidence, but gives us a, a true discerning power in our life, we see our reality different. We're not so caught up in the worldly things. Now we can still have material things as we like and desire. That's fine. I'm not talking about that aspect. I'm simply talking about not getting caught up in the environments that we're in, the people that we're around, the ideas that are supported at mass. No, you give yourself the freedom to be who you are without the condition that everyone else has to agree without the condition that you have to go out and preach on the mountain mountaintops everywhere that you go, that this is who you are and this is how you do. You don't have to do it because you don't need the outside validation. You simply wake up, make your choices, live your life, and find your peace in every waking moment of the choices that you choose. And even when you move in a direction from your choices and you realize, okay, no, I didn't like the outcome of that choice. You can still maneuver. It's an ongoing process. Once again, choose your battles. But know that it all comes down to your choice. The power within you, the God within you. The universe expressing itself through you. You are the life, create the art. Don't live your life letting art create your life. Until the next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.